What is up guys, EJ Webs here, back with another video, and today I'm going to open up the new Darkness Ablaze Elite Trainer Box. This just came out as Darkness Ablaze, the set just came out. So, here is the box, I got this at Target for $40, like a typical ETB. Here's what it says, a brilliant flame on the darkness day, talks about Eternatus V and Charizard. Sin Scorch V Max, Mew V, comes with a typical Elite Trainer Box stuff, so how about I just get this open up trying to make my intros a little bit shorter just get to the product faster so make sure you guys subscribe trying to get to 400 yeah it'll be kind of hard but i want to get to at least 350 soon also check out my socials in the description of this video tiktok instagram twitter snapchat and I also testing out my new mic i'm trying to put you have it in a good position make sure the audio is good so here is the inside before I show the inside, here is the player's guide. And that is what this looks like. And there. And then all of the cards in the set. And where is the card that everyone wants? It is right over here. The Charizard V Max, pretty common. It's worth like $120, so it actually is pretty valuable. Despite being a common card, not too um, hard to get. Here is the trading card game rules. They're including those in the set in the ETBs now. And I do the obligatory count to make sure that they are is there enough packs. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, they didn't skimp out. Thank you, Pokemon Company. Here are the energies. Cool. Uh, the deck dividers, or, or the yeah, deck dividers, or um, cardboard binders to the ETB. Never use them. The burn and poison marker. The dice, orange and blue. And then the sleeves. Might have to use these. These are cool with the blue and dark blue. And last thing in the box is the code card. So that is really all that is in this ETB. Not too much interesting stuff. Just found out today that we the set releasing in November, Vivid Voltage. They're gonna have a Super Elite Trainer box which has 12 packs and a promo card. It's gonna be uh, $20 more. I guess I'll have to get that. So we have eight packs of Darkness Ablaze. So just to let you guys know, I do have the True Steel Premium Collections, Zashian and Zamazenta. Also about 22 more of those packs, those, um packs with the bonus pack and I um, just spent a bunch of money on those packs because it was such an insane deal and I'm planning to get more so that will be in the future use some of the packs for TikToks here is the first pack of Darkness Ablaze and this opening, we have a Psychic Energy, Doug Trio, Billowing Smoke, Heat Energy, Spinarak, Larvesta, Hippobatas, Golet, Skitty, have a Nicket, and a Milotic Hollow, the first Hollow from the Darkness Darkness Ablaze set. And of course, if there's Ultra Rares in this video, I would love to pull something that isn't wasn't in my first opening so so basically grim snarl v scissor v max or um i think it was stunfisk v max and uh slow row v max so those are the cards i want to avoid not too pricey and also i already have them trying to fill out the master set Let's see if a centret have a rose tower reverse and a Serena, regular rare. Send a Scorch VMAX. The Fire VMAX in the set that nobody really wants. Alright. Alright, so we have a Water Energy. Laron. Old PC. Ariados. Grimer. Galarian Darumaka, Centret, Rowlet, Squavet, Cape of Toughness Reverse, 
and a Hydreigon, regular rare. Okay, Charizard V Max. I got my shiny Charizard from Hidden Fates in a, sh a shiny Charizard pack. So will I get the Charizard V Max the same way out of the V Max pack? So we have a Darkness Energy, Lunatone, Staravia, Pupitar, Snubble, Meltan, Bunnelby, Paris, Larvitar, Holtigeist Reverse, and a Hippowdon Regular Rare. Halfway through this box, hopefully the hits are in the last few packs because nothing good so far. Trying not to look at the color of the code. Oh my god, I'm sick of this. We have a Grass Energy. Earth Ring. And by sick of this, I mean having my camera move because my arm is resting on the tripod. I'm just trying to figure out how this microphone is going to work out. Shelmet. Larvitar. Steeny. And it's Decidueye Hollow. Okay. Nice Decidueye Hollow. But will this be a hollow box or will this be an ultra rare box? Alright. Here's the code. Make sure to like, leave a like if you are taking a code. So we have an energy, Cape of Toughness, by Bravo. Simiseer, Carablast, Galarian Darumaka, Larvitar, Nicket, Bound Sweet, a Dark Tricks. Ah, oh, no! This is what I don't want to happen. Galarian Slowbro V. But the thing I mentioned in this video was to pull ultra rares that I do not have. I did get four on my first spot, my first opening. So there's a good chance I could get a repeat. However. Not good to get repeats. Oh, okay, so we have a Fighting Energy, Piers, Vanillish, Shinotic, Mr. Mimi, Electric, Dino, Passimian, Bunnelby, Rookie D, and a Galarian Mr. Rhyme. Very cool card, but it's a non hollow, nevertheless. Okay, last pack, last chance for something good. All right, so we have an energy, Laron, Parasect, Spike Muth, Rookie D, Torchic, Trap Pinch, Jigglypuff, Ducklet. We have a Mareep and a Golurk regular rare. So the only thing we got out of this is a Galarian Slowbro V. It's not even an expensive ultra rare. I also got a few hollows, but what could he do? I got 22 more packs of Darkness Blaze over there. I couldn't care less what I get in this review trade box because I know Darkness Blaze is going to be a good set. So there you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of shitty video. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.